Hi friends, this is Squadron Jaisima, your memory coach, the President World Memory Sports Council for India. I welcome to our series, Scientific Study and Memory Techniques. Today we shall discuss about concentration. What is this? About concentration, how to develop concentration. The question is, what is concentration? Concentration means basically focus. Imagine I have a lens in my hand and I have got a paper. I am keeping the lens on this paper and keep on walking. Will this paper get burned? No. Why? Because the sun rays have got some energy. The energy got diluted all over the paper. So it could not do work. If the paper has to burn, what I am supposed to do? I should hold this paper tight. And then I should stand firm at one place and focus this lens at one spot. Soon the paper will burn. This time, the energy of the sun rays had fallen at one, one part, it could do some work. Correct? Exactly. Our thoughts too have some energy. If you focus your thoughts on 10 things at one time, you will not be able to accomplish anything. So, concentration basically means from everything to one thing at one time, focusing our thoughts is called concentration. This is what we call meditation. This is what we call dhyana. For everything, we need to have a concentration. I am eating, I should have concentration, otherwise instead of going food into my mouth, it will go here. I am driving my car, I should focus on the road. And what if I start talking on the mobile and driving, the police will put a chalan. Even if it doesn't put, then I will you know, create, cause some accident. That means one thing at one time, very important. So if small, small things you have to focus at one thing at one time, what about study? So we have to concentrate. And many of you say, sir, I concentrate, sir, but my problem is I sit in the chair to study, but I am not able to sit as per my timetable. How many have you got this problem? Sir, I sit in the chair to study, but I am not able to sit as per my timetable. You are watching television. Your mother says, go open the book. You become very angry. My mother, 24 hours, book study, speed reading and memory skills. This Jason, my fellow, I don't know. Why did you write this book? And then you hit your head. And then what you do? You come and sit in the chair. And then when you sit in the chair, first five minutes is okay. After five minutes, the chair is becoming a little hot. What you do? You sit like this. Five minutes more. Of ten minutes, you cannot sit this way. You sit this way. You turn this way. After 15 minutes, you see smoke starts coming out from the chair. Total base becomes very hot. You cannot sit anymore. And what you do? You get up from the chair. So the moment you get from chair, mother will ask you, where are you going? Where means what? Washroom. Can't I go? My birthright. For this also, I need your permission. You go to washroom. You are coming out. Mommy, daddy, both of them are watching a television. You say, daddy, give me the remote. Your daddy will say, will you not change? No, I will not change. You go and change. Doni, hit ball for six. That's what actually happens, right? You are a good child. You are a good student. You make a timetable, you sit, but not able to sit in the chair. That's what the problem is. Then what you should do? <laughs> How to sit? The first thing is, once you set a timetable, you have to sit in the chair as per the timetable. That's the first thing. For concentration develop, the first step is, you sit in the chair as per the timetable. You say, this we know. We are not able to sit. Tell us some technique. You want some technique? Take 10 rupees. Go to one hardware shop. You know hardware shop? They sell chain, rope, tiles, wash basins, screwdriver, plier, axe. A hardware shop. And give 10 rupees to the shopkeeper and ask for Fabic call. And what you do? You come and open the cap and squeeze that entire Fabic quick or the sticking gum, apply at the back. And then what you do? You come and sit in the chair now. Once you sit, wherever you go, your chair will follow. Will that be okay? You say, that is not okay. Then somebody is telling, sir, what about my washroom? What is there? But we can put one small hole and we can put pipeline to washroom. Is that going to work? No. Some parents even they come and tell me, Sir, my son, we actually bolt them in the room. And then even the idli sambar also from the window only. If the boy says, Mommy, I want to go to wash them, mommy is asking, Are you sure? What? <laughs> Are you sure? If you forcefully make someone to say it is not possible. The thing is, 
brain is playing some games with you see brain likes to watch movie television video games mobile facebook right but book in front of face brain doesn't like facebook is okay book in front of face is not okay so the moment you open the book and you sit down to study brain thinks oh my god i should study now <laughs> what do you think i should study what are thinking about me and is trying to find some reason to make you get up so you sit in the chair to study 5 minutes you read the first page you come to second page you see one star mark and you say who put star mark my friend ramesh only this guy doesn't bring his book always taking my book only and he is uh, putting some star marks i told him not to sit next to me but every day will come and sit next to me but why should i blame ramesh i told my ma'am ma'am ramesh is not a good boy change his sitting plan she is not changing but why should i blame my ma'am my mother she is always telling me study 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 what will happen if i study mummy is telling you will become an army officer what if i go to jammu and kashmir if somebody puts bomb if i die right now i am in 8th class when should i become an adult when should i become an army officer when should i go to jammu and kashmir hmm. and what happened 12 minutes where are you in the second page third paragraph and today you think that today i don't have good concentration i am not able to understand i am not able to focus the moment you keep the book on the chair and you get up brain is full happy <laughs> very happy why today i could make this boy or this girl to get up from the chair tomorrow i'll see tomorrow means brain is playing games with you if the brain becomes master you become a servant our life will become like that of the dustbin outside the washroom then what should we do you should become the master brain should become servant what to do i'll teach you one beautiful technique the sticking gum technique is not going to help one basic technique you know what sit on the chair without getting up as per your time table what to do the technique i'm telling is come what may technique come what may before you sit to study what are those things that might cause some distractions washroom you want to go you want to drink some water hungry you are you don't have geometry box you don't have pen pencil or eraser you don't have the class notes or somebody's high volume tv they are playing there's something so we'll come will be causing distractions so before you sit in the chair make sure did i go to washroom yes i have gone next one hour i am not going to right go to washroom did i have my food yes next one hour can i survive without food yes did i have my water yes did i have my one water bottle on the table yes do i have my uh, geometry box pen pencil eraser sharpener and i got my class notes homework and test copy and the textbook now tv no sound fan is okay light is okay everything is fine so next one hour let tsunami come let earthquake come let new mummy come to my house doesn't really matter i am not going to get up i am not telling you to understand i am just telling you to just learn to sit everything will begin from there when you go and play cricket what will the captain tell the batsman he says just stick on to the crease just stay on the crease right stay on the crease rahul dravid beautiful example he says if i am there on the crease not not got out runs will automatically flow they will come automatically you just be there on the crease similarly first of all sit on the chair once you sit on the chair you have got the first victory after that concentration brain will automatically develop understand this automatically brain will develop so you have to have the concept first of all sit in the chair as per the time table time table and for that what come what my technique so once you put a time table from 7 to 8 pm i am not going to get up from the chair what you should do so make sure that you set up and then brain will, is not able to concentrate doesn't really matter doesn't really matter at all you sit and then brain will go here brain will go there brain will go there and after 15 20 minutes brain will finally come back he says oh my god this fellow is so adamant so rigid he is not getting up only anyway he is so much focused he is let me just read for 10 minutes first day you sit one hour maybe you will have concentration for 10 minutes tell yourself shabash go ahead next day again sit for one hour the span of concentration will go from 10 to 12 minutes 
Next day again, if you one hour, the span will go up to 13 minutes. Next day, 15. Next day, 17. Slowly, slowly, you can keep on increasing. If you can do this for 21 days, one hour. If you first of all sit in the chair, the span of concentration will go up to 45 to 50 to 55 minutes in in one hour. And at this age, if you are able to concentrate for that much time, you are among the top 5% cream in the whole world. Anyone who says, one hour I sit, one hour I concentrate, is only kidding. You should be a Baba or Swami, you should be a saint. You should go to Himalayas, put head up and legs up and then you should do. Even I cannot concentrate, thoughts will come. How to address those thoughts, that we shall discuss in some other video. But I am just telling you, first sit in the chair. Once you sit in the chair, you have become master. You tell the brain, brain, whatever you may think, I am not going to get up till 8 o'clock. Once you have decided, once you have become that Vikramarka that I am not going to get up from the chair, brain thinks, oh my God, in any case, this guy is not going to get up before one hour. Why not I finish the studies, then I can go out and play. So, it is right now between you and your brain. So, the question is, who is going to be the master? So, you have to be the master. Come what may technique. Once you sit there, automatically concentration will come. So, the biggest problem is, you sit in the chair and then you get some distracted or you got some roommates. They, the moment you open the book, they say, come, come, let us have a cup of tea. Come, come, let us go for a long drive. Come, come, let us go for a walk. They will come and disturb. So, you tell them, boss, for next one hour, I am not going to get from the chair. So, first of all, you decide that I have to sit. And once you have won the first war, rest of it is automatically possible. So, as a batsman, have you got one run against your name? Automatically, you go to two runs, you know, two digit number, then you go on to uh, make a century. Rest, everything is a cumulative process of you having determination. So, internal motivation. I am sure you will be able to do it. So, from today, put timetable and make sure that nothing thing will disturb you from getting from the chair. You do that, rest, concentration will come automatically. Now, you are asking about thoughts. That we shall discuss. First of all, do this. Understood? If you have done this, automatically concentration will become because you are the master brain is your servant. Understood? So, friends, you want more such memory techniques. You know, JCMA Mind Education is the number one memory academy in the whole country. You can get in touch with us in jsma.in website. You can mail me at visionj at gmail.com double nine eight five zero three one triple seven double nine eight five zero four one triple seven helpline numbers. You can call me, you can talk to me, you can email me and you can go through many of our memory and speeding courses and I will be more than glad to be your partner, your mentor in your success so that we all can make study a celebration. We shall meet up again. Until then, keep smiling. Bye-bye.